My name is Mark, and I run an organization that does videos for nonprofits. I am rating Adobe Captivate, and I rate it, rate it um, four stars. And for more reviews, you can click below. I had a job for a client where they needed um, a digital learning course authored in the SCORM 1.2 format. And I had never specifically done that before, but I did some searching online and found that it was relatively um, an easy process to do. So as I was looking around for what software I would use to create a um, SCORM course, Captivate seemed to be the best choice for me for its cost and all of the different things that it could do, as well as I was familiar with Adobe's other products that I use um, for other jobs. So I chose Adobe Captivate for the first time that I've ever created a digital SCORM course because it looked easy enough to use, the price was right, and I knew they had great customer support. And um, so that's, that's the main reason I chose Adobe over all the competitors as well. Plus they had flexible pricing. I could pay month to month instead of having to just buy a whole software. So the main reasons that I chose Adobe Captivate were first uh, the ease of download and installation and the price, but then very specifically my project required taking a bunch of pre-produced videos and programming them into a SCORM course um, type of project and I saw that Adobe Captivate was pretty easy to import all the videos in as well, my client had some PowerPoint slides that needed to be incorporated into the project. And I chose Captivate because I saw that you could bring in and put in all your own videos and then export them out in this form format as well as incorporate previously existing PowerPoint slides. So for me, it was the, the fact that the multimedia components that needed to be in my project could be taken that already existed and easily put in. And then third, because the exporting out of the project into the SCORM compatible um, format that my client needed was easy as well. There were multiple ways you could preview it before exporting it and multiple ways you could redo it again if you needed to change something. So it was the way that it managed multimedia in the project that I was doing that made me, that were the most um, helpful features for me. Once I got Adobe Captivate downloaded and installed, it opened right up and, and was pretty easy to use. Um, the only trickiness to it was it's separately billed from Adobe Creative Cloud. So if you have other Adobe services, when I per specifically signed up, it was a different um, billing structure and setup from that. So that was a little confusing at first, but then I figured it out. And then once I got it loaded, um, it was pretty easy to get started, and I, I figured it out on my own. I will say I then got an email that first week from Adobe Customer Support asking if I needed help in case I had problems using it, but I, I didn't need help because I'd already figured it out, but it was nice to know that someone was there offering assistance if it was needed. So um, relatively simple to get started if you can figure out new softwares that wasn't that hard to start. Just a little, a little tricky on the billing part right at the beginning, but that's about it. The advice that I would have to someone who is considering Adobe Captivate is if, you, first, if you've never done anything uh, that requires the SCORM format before, then I think it's a good place to start. I had never done anything at all, and so it was a good, easy, early learning step. My course did not require much interaction with um, quizzes or surveys or tracking time in the course. It was mainly just putting videos in there, and so for, for a beginner like myself in this, it was really um, easy to use. If you're more advanced and know more about the different SCORM formats, you might want to look a little more in detail about all the specific things that it does because um, I didn't use a lot of those different available assets within the program. I do know that it hasn't been updated since 2019, I think, or the current most new version is 2019, so you'll want to double check to make sure everything you are using is um, compatible if you have done a lot more of this than I have. But for me, it was a great fit, and I would just say know what your output needs to be and make sure Captivate can do it, and that's the main thing I'd look out for.